hi guys today we'll be creating this beautiful uh, rose card so for this card i'm using this uh, beautiful rose stamp and a watercolor paper by tim holtz so i'll be using my dr ph martin's uh, colors and uh, i'm placing this large stamp on my stampaholic and uh, i'll be stamping partial stamping basically uh, using my mini distress ink cubes so for the leaves i'm using a green and uh, it's possible by using the mini ink uh, cubes you can also use the markers for this and uh, once the leaves were stamped nicely i decided to use a very pale pink again by distress ink i think it's a tattered rose and um, very carefully i am uh, dabbing that uh, so uh, once this is stamped my uh, entire image is clear to me and since i'm a huge fan of no li no line coloring and uh, i love the dr ph martin's colors initially i had plan to use my copic markers but then i decided to go for the watercolors so you need the tiniest amount of these uh, highly pigmented uh, watercolors and i'm just basically touching it in the color and uh, you get a very very highly pigmented strong colors so you see me using two brushes and one has been loaded with color and the other one has just water so uh, i'm spreading my strong color with the water and i'm not wasting any of my pigments in this case so uh, i'm just taking a drop of the red and these are the two shades uh, i'm using for my image so this is the green and then i come back with my water and here and there i'm adding a little bit of red coral color on top of the rose leaves i like adding this little tinge uh, in the leaves as it makes it look so natural and uh, nice so um, it is a very very easy quick simple method and uh, once the area is wet the water does all the work for you it spreads the color beautifully and the blending is so mesmerizing so i had a lot of fun painting this beautiful image and um, i want to do some more maybe with a copic and see how well i'm able to do that so i'll share that one as well here uh, i'm coloring it with a very very bright green and uh, once this will be done i will take uh, the pink which is so bright and pigmented that the tiniest amount will do the job so uh, i'll stop talking here and you can enjoy the music and see me how i paint this flower once this is done uh, we'll uh, talk at the end of the video and see how the entire card is put up and uh, that's it so enjoy
so i painted all the three roses and all the leaves and um, you can see that there is a little tinge of yellow also in few of the petals and that creates uh, so much uh, beauty in these kind of roses because they look so natural and uh, maybe few of the leaves are drying and uh, that makes it very very dimensional and pretty so uh, i'm adding a stronger color at few of the areas and um, that will create some more shadows and uh, basically for such florals the proper highlights and uh, shadows are so are i would say the most important and that makes it so dimensional and uh, pretty so this is it and i just need to stamp a sentiment and i picked it from the same stamp set which says happy birthday this card is for a very very dear friend her birthday is just approaching in a day and uh, i'll gift it to her and i'm sure she will love it so after stamping this with uh, lawn fawn ink which was a gray ink i somehow didn't like it and it was a little splotchy then I moved to my favorite Versafine Black Onyx ink and then I got the crisp, ultimate beautiful black sentiment and uh, this would uh, finish the card. I just trimmed it from all the four sides and uh, matted it on a plain uh, card using some foam tape and that's it this card doesn't need any shimmer any embellishment and it's beautiful in itself thank you so much for watching and please take care of yourself see you soon bye bye